Hello. Hello, everybody. So, someone has news. You know me. <laughs> you want me to talk about it? I think, just so we get this out of the way, um, it's not going to be a soppy video because me and Brigitte have not fallen out. We don't hate each other. Um, but things are changing. Um, a lot of things have happened in my life very quickly and very fast where I just realised I needed a big change. And I'm someone who, as a Taurus, I don't really like change, but with past things in my life, I know it always has made me a better person. And basically I am single and I'm no longer in a relationship. Um, and I'm just kind of as well with London, it's gotten to the point where I was struggling with, um, just rent here is not cheap. <laughs> so just struggling with loads of different things and never really, fully happy with the way I thought London would be for me. It wasn't always like what people think, even from back home, people are like, oh, London. London is for those who are willing to work their asses off. Mm -hmm. And stay strong through the whole fucking thing. Yeah. Um, but yes, so I'm not really going to get into my relationship. That might be something not even that, but just advice. My whole mindset mindset has changed on how I should just focus on myself. And one of the main things I'll be talking on my channel, and we might even talk about now in a minute, is just people in relationships, you really need to realize that both people need to have goals in life and both be supportive of each other. It needs to go like this. Same core values, guys. Yeah. Same vision. Um, so someone isn't down here and like trying to catch up. You both need to be there with each other and support each other, but also have your own lives and not have to be codependent because it just doesn't work. Um, and also for me, communication in relationships is make or break. If there yeah. is no communication on a like level of like wanting to change each other, or a better purpose it's not going to work because you cannot change someone you remember cannot. that guys if you don't get the same attention or the same level of communication why are you chasing you know and a lot of people are th thinking that you can change someone which is especially light workers like us mm -hmm. right but you have to go through these experiences where you like do you want to be the person who is the one to that wants to change the other one or do you want an equal strong partner with the same vision mm -hmm. so answer yourself what is it that you want yeah um and as well for me if you are trying to talk to your partner and they're being silent and just trying to switch the topic around it's just that's like i don't know you get you just have signs that uh, sometimes maybe people just want to work through you mm -hmm. know and, um, because being silent is the killer in the relationship. If there is silence, that is, it's that doesn't what the next thing then adds up, and the next thing adds up, and then it's just a whole mess of argument that didn't need to happen if you just talked about it little by little. I'm really the moment he told me that he has decided to co focus on himself was the moment I was doing the dishes, and he just came to me and he's like, I've decided. And I nearly dropped the fucking plates. I, I, was, I was waiting for this moment for him to come to me and just say, hey, I'm gonna be doing this and I'm gonna be doing that in the future, you know? Because you have so much potential. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like, oh my God, I'm so happy for you. Like I started thinking about all the things you're gonna do in the future. And his face was so happy and he was so relieved as if like, oh, life, mm -hmm. you know? It's like, it's not that, we're not shading anyone here. It's not that, oh my God, it was terrible relation. It just wasn't like they were not for each other. You mm -hmm. know, that's it. And that's okay. Yeah. And you've taken a lot of this from this experience. By the way, we're drinking rum, we're chilling. So whoever is triggered by... Jenny um, Winnie's. What's yeah, up, by Jenny alcohol, Winnie's. sorry. <laughs> um, what else was I going to say? Um, so what I'm doing... Um, Basically, I was, we were meant to be moving out in a month because of the rents being up, blah, blah, blah. 
but I just... In a couple of months, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, I just spoke to Brigitte and she was really supportive and she just said, you know what, just if you feel like you need to go now, go now, it's fine. And I was like, I have to, yeah. And I just decided and I booked my flight and I'm like clearing He's going my... in a couple of days, yeah. like, like this. So I'm stoked about what you're going to be doing next, yeah. literally. I'm going to go back home to Ireland and just focus on getting myself back. I'll still be doing tarot. <laughs> I'll be doing it probably way more because I'll have so much more time on my hands. And That's the main concentration right now. Yeah. And I will stay there for a while and then I'm planning on going to Australia out to family out there. Yeah. Which I never thought I would do because I always said, oh, Australia, I need somewhere busy. Uh, the ego. No, I need peace and quiet and sunshine. That's yeah. what I need in my life. Yeah. And I was just... Also, um, the job that I just had to say to everyone, I had to say goodbye. Was, oh my God, you want to talk about this? Oh my God. <sighs> it was yesterday and it was the worst day I had in a long, long time. I cried more than I've ever cried. And I don't know when I've cried like that. I just couldn't. It was like I was releasing everything. And when they had told the kids, the, the kids have autism. So with them, it was like they weren't really registering like what was going on. Um, but one of the hardest things was saying bye to the children that I looked after. And last year, the boy that I worked with, he's like nine now, um, he looked up to me, he was sitting on the floor like this. And mm. I was just like, please don't make me cry again. And then he came over and he hugged my leg and he said, I'm not letting go, Mr. Worski, you can't go back. And I was like, oh. go away, stop. Um, but I just, loved that that was the last job that I've had in London because I've had loads of work lots of many different types of work here and they were all learning <clears throat> experiences but that was the best because I know now that no matter what I do as a job I want to help people um can we just talk about something where you where you called people telling them that you live in and what they said about Australia oh <laughs> So my agency that I was uh, signed up with is an Australian agency. Funny how that all worked out now, weird enough. Because you were thinking at the beginning, oh, I'm going to have to do the farm work before I yeah. start working in Australia. Yeah. And then... And then I called my agency and I was like, hey, to the guy Angus. And I was like, blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm going home and he was like, oh, we've loved you. We've loved having you. The school really, really loved how good you were with the kids, blah, blah, blah. And he says, so what are your plans? And I said, I'm going to go home to Ireland. And he was like, is that it? You're just going to go home and chill for a while? Yeah. And I was like, well, I'm planning on going to Perth. And he was like, what? <laughs> he was like, well, we've got your job then. He was like, we've got um, a branch in uh, Perth. And he, would, he said, all I have to do is transfer all of your details over and I can get you a job like that. He's like, no farm work, no, uh, none of that. Oh my He's like, God. we can get you straight in. So I was just like, and that was when I just left school and it was like, I felt dead inside. I felt like I'd released all of my energy and I was just, then it was like a little bit of happiness came again. Um, but yeah, what do you think is going to change for you? <laughs> so what's happening is I'm going to move when the contract is done and I think it's going to be my 12th house in nearly 10 years here. So I'm talking about astrology. Never, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was 12 never hours. <laughs> someone who had comfort zone to begin with. Uh, yeah, that's actually very true. And I'm very grateful for that, you know, cause I'm like, oh, what's next? Let's go, let's go. Yeah, the struggle is the same, but you just cope with it differently. Like mm -hmm. how we talked about, you just have a better armor, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, then, so my plan is, some of you probably know, um, it's going to be probably one of the other, or the other. I'm not sure just yet, but my plan is, a lot of you know that I work in architectural field and um, I'm willing to sacrifice this career for being of service to others, meaning counseling people, doing tarot, uh, doing many more things in the future that I have a list on in my head, but... What I'll have to do also, I'll have to, that was actually the plan, I had to move first, that didn't happen that he, he moved before me. 
the plan is to stay in London for a bit more to get the money together and um, kind of just like finish some bits that I've left behind and then go back home for a while stay with family because my dad is not okay with his health my grandma as well she's my like second mom she has Alzheimer's so I would like to be with my family because I wasn't throughout these 10 years as much and do only tarot over there and see how it goes uh, maybe work on the channel give you more of what I've always wanted to put out but I never had enough time and afterwards I will move so I think I'll stay home around three months or four months I'll see how I feel and then or I'll go to work with tarot in Turkey or Spain or Portugal I'm not sure yet I'll see where life takes me but the main idea is having a peaceful place having a place that's sunny because I was always about I was like forever telling you about like oh I need palm trees I need ocean I need this and that so that's it but the biggest change for me is going to be stepping back from I think leaving London because it became my home but also leaving career that I've spent so much money and energy mm -hmm. for including university debts including all of that because I've been studying uh, in private college back home interior uh, design then I came here I've been studying here for four years and it just required so much of my energy and money and I was like hmm, people were asking me actually you sure you crazy like leaving this I'm like well F it if it's not gonna work out I can always come back you know it's mm -hmm. all about trying I think mm -hmm. to go for the life you want to live and what actually makes you fulfilled and especially when you are of service to someone is just like because people will always question you because they don't want you to take risks that they wish they could take themselves <laughs> yeah and it's all about like think now a channel it's all about like embrace change embrace risks because you don't know where it's gonna take you but these are the plans that we have now in our heads but I always say we are planning God is laughing because you never know when there's gonna be a <laughs> I love twist. when she says that quote I'm like <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah so we'll see where life takes us but I think with in this video we also want to talk about what we gained from one another and uh, when Joey came in my life he was always the person who grounds me so I have if you looked at my chart it's all fire it's all fire he looked at it he was like whoa now I get you I was like what's your rising set fire what's your uh, moon set fire I was like whoa, whoa okay yeah That's why you it's, all fire. <laughs> it's all fire so he was the one that you know every time I'd be like okay I cannot rest because I have to do this and that and that and then I would feel guilty not doing things because I, w I was thinking in my head I felt I'm wasting my time you know and uh, he would be like chill out relax just lay down allow yourself to do so and I was like oh, I still need to hear this because he'd be always like chilled doing things whenever he feels like doing things and for me I was like how do I get to that place of balance, you know? Because mm -hmm. it was always, for me, I re require, I request and I want so much for myself that it can be, become a little bit unhealthy. Mm -hmm. And um, I like had so many breakdowns physically, emotionally, because my body can't go anymore, you know? And that's what you taught me. How do you take a chill pill? Mm -hmm. And now I've learned that throughout time. And also, how just to be very grounded and how you never you are always that person who would never ever be the one that you know when you start talking about how difficult something was for you or how hard your day was mm -hmm. you just sit there and listen but listen not in the way to answer but actually listen and you don't have many people like that out there because someone wants to give your give you opinion sometimes maybe you just don't need that mm -hmm. you just need someone to listen and at the end of venting you just go like yeah so I think and that's when you would start talking but talking in a way where like but you know that already kind of thing mm -hmm. and it's such a respectful way to say to someone like just re you would remind me things in a very healthy way where I'm like 
That's all I needed to hear. Thank mm -hmm. you. And there was no fakeness ever with us. It was, it was always, always straight, straight to the point. Straight to the point and nice and honest and just... We, we don't like bullshit, you see. We don't like when someone thinks something but doesn't say it. Whatever it is on our mind, we just like... Even sometimes we'd be like, this shit is happening to you because you're not doing this and that right. And you're like, yeah. And then we'd be like, so then, what we can do is... Do, 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 do. Yeah, give each other so, options. So straightforward. Yeah. So... And a lot of things, I want to talk about something else. Can I just say that as well, I don't have any fire in my chart, I'm a Taurus. So that's why I was so grounded all the time. I was constantly like, I love food and I love relaxing and I love chilling out. But I would see Brigitte and she would be so busy all the time and so stressed sometimes because she had a lot more hours at work than I did. And I would come home and I would feel like sometimes, oh, she really needs a break. But Brigitte is just like work mode and she just like goes, goes, goes. And without her, I don't think my Tara would have gotten anywhere because I wasn't even going to start YouTube in the first place. She motivated me to when I was a bit too lazy. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that because I fucking was. <laughs> 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 but, but I love it like I would see you just taking a nap and I'm like I oh can't. I can take a nap it's okay you know you'd remind me of things like that yeah and I just without her I wouldn't have been motivated to work on like not because I like to grind myself all the time mm. but sometimes you need to get up off your ass and get things done in order for things to move as well but it's like we're the complete opposite in different yeah, ways yeah. so it was like we needed each other to for me to not get too um like get it procrastinate too much and for her it was like sometimes she does need to just like distract herself from yeah everything so it's kind of like it worked in a really good way for us and any any time that we both were going through something she would be kind of going through something and she'd be down here i'll be way up here and then it would just go do -do. yeah and we would always be there for We'd each other always have like if someone was in really shit mode the other one would be really high up and i think it was happening for a reason so when i needed you you had this energy to help me or when you need me i had this i'm like i got you as well so it was very see how those opposites work like yin and yang right yeah so it was a really good balance. What were you going to say though? I wanted to talk about... Mm -hmm. Oh no, I was thinking you. about something else. I want to talk about something else that you taught me. Um, and I had an idea and I've lost it. And I was like, mm. so if you want to talk about something, go ahead. I might remember it. Um, um, just also as well, I'm really grateful to have met Brigitte because for so long I've been that was my first relationship and I was never really one to be fussed about being in a relationship um, because I, I am happy on my own I like I, I like my own company and I've always kind of been like that as a child I would be out in the forest playing on my own pretending to be a witch <laughs> I love this so much <laughs> but like I was that weird child that would just play on his own and like sometimes cousins would like to join in but then they all got older and I was still a, like in fairy tale world half of the time so like this relationship really kind of like, I don't know, I was too much in the relationship and I wasn't focusing on myself. And having Brigitte being so comfortable with herself was kind of like, I was missing that part and I didn't, I wouldn't have realized it if I wasn't around her all the time and how she was just like, let's go to this gig and let's be optimistic and do things and not just, sometimes we would lay around the house, but a lot of the time, you were like, you've got that fire energy. You want excitement and... I'm a Sag yeah. rising. So you know how Sag risings are. They like, let's live our lives. <laughs> so in a way, I was really happy because she's made a lot of my experience in London, my memories. She, me and her did a lot of things together and I am so grateful for that. And looking back at it now, I'm just like... I wouldn't have done half of the shit if Brigitte didn't say, we're doing this and you can't say no, kind of. <laughs> She's just like, let's go. Let's, let's get excited. But that's what I wanted to talk about because with Joe, like, you were listening always to different music. Like, I would listen to metal music. And um, I was like, okay, there's Metal Gig. The band is coming. I want to see them. Do you want to go? And he's so open-minded. He's like, 
never been to one, let's go. There is, There was never any suggestion between ourselves. It was always about exploration. Mm -hmm. Let's say... It's not like, I don't like that music, even though I didn't yeah. like it at the time. Yeah. But I now do. <laughs> and I remember your face in the gig, and there was that um, Hemlock, Hemlock band, mm -hmm. and how that guy, they were playing like amazing it was amazing i didn't know that that band i was coming for to see other band but they were actually the best over there and how that guy the vocalist kept looking our way and he would show hearts mm -hmm. oh, I and remember it was that. so sweet and then i went when the gig finished i went to the toilet and i come back up and what did he say he came up to you, right? I forget though, but what did he say? He said something about, I loved your vibe, guys. Yes, The yes. whole night. And it was, we would get into situations where everything was so unexpected because we were so open-minded, living life. Kind of that people would, random people would come up to us and say, hey, I really love your vibe. Even the homeless guy. I was me. just thinking about that. Yeah. I was like, he was oh. just, there was something about you too. What's your vibe? He was this really nice American homeless man and he kept himself well and he just came up and talked to us in such an honest way and you yeah. give him, you didn't have any money but you had like, what was it? I was it Nepalese? I had Nepalese currency from when I went to Nepal and I never exchanged it so I just gave him whatever and I had. Canadian. Oh no, 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 I had Canadian, Canadian. also. Yeah, it was the Canadian, my lucky Canadian five dollars. And I you think. told him, this is my lucky note. And I, and it, I kept it with myself throughout like, oh my God, ages because that was my lucky note. And I was like, you know what? let luck kind of be with you now because he was so nice he was just me and i think he said he's not gonna exchange it or something yeah because she said it me. was her lucky he was like nope keeping it yeah and we just had wherever we went we just had amazing people coming to us because that's what we put out these good intentions mm -hmm. let's be open-minded let's live our lives and with you it was so like easy mm -hmm. because you'd never be opinionated without let's say if you never experienced some something you would never be like mm, i'm not sure you know or maybe i'm not gonna go because maybe i'm not gonna like you'll mm -hmm. be like let's go and see life let's go explore things and mm -hmm. i think that's very very important mm -hmm. saying yes to things that you're not familiar with yeah you know <sighs> this is emotional <laughs> i'm feeling kind of like oh no no i'm thinking on so many things and i'm like oh, go just talk because life. i don't know I think it's interesting just remembering we have so much mm -hmm. that we could talk about, but let's just take the something that you feel like you want to talk about or you remember something particular. I'm, I just thought on like the day that you pushed me to, like she's always pushed me to have more confidence and it's weird because for a long time I did I have- I didn't know that until you told me. I'm, I'm someone who acts very confident, but a lot of the time I'm not. I'm very insecure and I don't I can be insecure. I'm insecure too, Joe. It's just maybe it's not showing that much. Yeah, we but we're the same though. We don't show it at all. We we kinda smile through it and I think everyone is insecure. Yeah. Isn't everyone insecure? Yeah. Somehow. But that isn't that isn't really the point because everyone is insecure. There's an, it's the point is that you pushed me to have confidence. And something, like for example, you were the one that I was like, oh my God, someone believes in me. When you, when we first sat down and done tarot for the very first time, and I was like, hold on till I get Google. And I was like, going to read the cards on Google. And she was like, no, what are you doing that for? She's like, I believe that you can do it just with, with your own intuition. And I was like, really? Cause you were trying to remember meanings. the meanings of it. Cause you haven't maybe done it for some time. Yeah. And you you didn't want to confuse yourself. It was just like, let me double check kind of thing. Also, I was like feeling like, oh my God, we're just getting to know each other. And now if she thinks like, I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> it's kind of like, I don't know. I was like, I don't want to risk it. So she pushed me into like being confident about that. And you have really good intuition. <laughs> you could read from the rock. I could, because <laughs> I'm not spaced out. <laughs> but as well, you, you just made me realize a lot of things about myself and you kind of i don't know how to explain it but you really have guess you've helped me so much like with confidence even this past while 
I feel like my confidence is back up to where it needs to be and to not push be a pushover anymore is one of the biggest things like with everything like if anyone was annoying me at work you would like just tell them to piss off and just like not piss off but like just set boundaries with people because yeah, that's something I really really struggle with um, and I just you you come off confident like but you sometimes you have your own things as well but yeah. you're you know how to give advice on what's the right thing for people and what they should do for themselves and not worry about what people think and like as well i'm still struggling to listen to my own voice on my videos and brigitte watches sometimes her own videos from like ages ages ago i take my own advice she takes her own <laughs> advice and she's like <laughs> She's like, Joe, do you not do you not listen to your own videos? And I was like, no, because I hate my own voice. And she's <laughs> he like, tells me that I'm like, really? No. <laughs> so maybe that's something I need to just be like, be comfortable with who you are, and that's what she's taught me again. And that's something I've struggled with in the past when I was really, really, really depressed, like a long time ago. That was a struggle. So it's like this life lesson has come up again, and now I've got. Brigitte to be like reality check you are worth it <laughs> you're on the right track my <sighs> I cannot be happier for what you'll be doing I mean I can't wait so we... much to offer that I'm like whoo I still cannot get over this the moment you told me that you're moving back home to concentrate on this work mm -hmm. and on your life I was like I couldn't stop smiling for two days I was like, oh my God, here we go. It's going down now, you know? Cause you kept telling me how much you wanted to go to Australia and I was like, and signs of Australia was coming up constantly. And honestly, I have this, the weirdest feeling that in the future, even though it's by for now, in the future, you're gonna see us a lot more. I don't know what is gonna happen. We'll probably be collaborating while traveling, you know? To, no? We'll be like, hey, let's go meet in Thailand and you know, yeah record videos there together or whatever well, yeah i feel like that's gonna help happen. people out there oh it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot guys <sighs> so do you want to say anything else i think i'm kind of like i mean i just i just want to say like i'm really really grateful because i i've met a lot of people throughout life especially when you live in london people come and go and uh, in life in general, you do, it's like thousands of people. Mm -hmm. I was like friends, but like not friends, friends with, but you know what I mean. And um, and it's good actually because you learn how to be completely detached from people. Mm -hmm. But I've ne I have only two people on my mind whose souls are pure. And one of these people are you. Mm. And you literally like sit in the white <laughs> t shirt here oh, now like an angel. I feel like crying. Uh. Yeah, but it's very true. Like you have such a pure soul, and sometimes angels have to have a oh. reality check of. Brigitte, I'm stop. <laughs> okay. Oh. This relates. Mm. Mm. No, I've cried too many times this past day. <laughs> It's I I think I another thing I've learned from you like you never cry. You really. should release it. Brigitte cried. Do you remember last time when I was being overwhelmed by shit in my life? I was mm -hmm. like, okay, let's get back with him. He's like, no, cry. cry. I was like, <laughs> like what? I don't know. It, and it's unhealthy actually not crying. So I'm, I'm learning that. Joke. And you were like, I don't want. You kind of was like, I don't want to cry. I was like, no, cry. <laughs> I was trying to like force it. Was like, it. Uh, I was like, do it. Yeah, and that's I really like appreciate people who are okay to cry in front of people because it means that you can trust them, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But yeah, I just want to say that I haven't, I have met a, a lot of people in my life, but I haven't met such pure supportive souls. She doesn't like, um, like touchy feely, but I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I do. You like, it's fine. Oh. Oh, you smell like that aqua perfume. <laughs> he has such amazing aqua perfume, I can't get over it. Okay, can you still smell it? Because I'm sweating. Yes. I smell a little oh bit. Oh my god. And and he goes, well, funny fact, it's called aqua. <laughs> I was like, mm, maybe you should buy it. <laughs> probably will. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that's what we probably, unless you want to say something else. 
going to I just I'm just like to say I'm so grateful for you you're probably one of The most influential people in my life I've ever met. Wow, that's you've, that was strong, Joey. Yeah, like I've you've changed me for so many different reasons, and I can't even I, words can't even <laughs> say. Like every single day, we went through shit, and you were always there to help me. You the and same thing. I know. And I we, told you so many times, Joe. Like I know you always told me that, and I didn't believe it. I was like, no, you, you know you do yourself. But I would always say, like, you, you know, you know what to do, kind of thing. But you helped me, so I don't even. And I know for a fact that I won't have a lot of friends, but I know now exactly the type of people I want in my life, and you're always going to be there, and. I have a friend that I met at work and just the connection as well with her, it's the same. It's like you are the two, there's just something about people when you meet them and you just know that yeah. they'll be there no matter what. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sad but I'm not sad as well because I'm happy for both of us and I'm happy for where we're about to go. Mm. And we've always been talking and talking and talking about things and how they're going to go a certain direction. And we didn't know when it would happen but I feel like the moment is right now. From when yeah. we split and go a different path, but the same path, yeah. we'll come back and we'll be like, whoa, look how far we've come. Yeah, because we kept telling each other, look how how far we've come since we met each other. And we kept being so grateful for all this time. It was, there were a lot of shifts happening mm -hmm. and a lot of like difficult things, but every single time we were like, oh my God, we're so grateful we live life like this. And I think that's very important for you guys. When people try to manifest things, right? For the wrong reasons. For the wrong reasons. You have to firstly be very genuinely grateful every single day for what you already have. And step by step, start doing something that you would like to have. Because if you don't start that, how can you manifest something that is out of your way? You haven't gone on that path yet, you know? So that's another thing i would always be talking about manifesting and stuff and she's like have you have you started doing that yet to oh, manifest I was such a bitch I'm that a was bitch like friend. that was the honest <laughs> that's the way we were with each other she would yeah. be honest but she would be like he'd be the same like hey can you just relax and we're like you're stressing me out <laughs> yes yeah, stop <laughs> but like that is that is the truth though it is if if you can't just expect things to come your way yeah um, for like if you're not doing anything and as well I feel like when you believe it believe it mm -hmm. is a really good sign but with that true core belief you're already doing the things without even subconsciously thinking about yeah. it because that's what you truly want to do yeah so saying you want a thousand uh, monies a thousand no, monies <laughs> love it so many currencies probably <laughs> yeah I love this <laughs> Um, <laughs> just know why, why do you need that? Is there anything else you actually should be trying to manifest? Like, mm -hmm. you know, some sunshine. <laughs> but, um, I don't really have anything I can, I don't know. I'm just like, I feel a little bit sad now. Okay, we'll finish. This is the with... last time I'll be in this room. Actually, too, sure, yeah. With your creepy spirits that come through. <laughs> Be my friends. They're my friends too. <laughs> you became your friends. Yeah, but honestly, that's the last video we will shoot here. By the way, we have one more video that we haven't put out mm -hmm. about Ooh. the third eye practice. So don't think that we he Joey came back to London. It's just gonna be the video we didn't put out yet. I forgot about that. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna come visit you. And oh, sure. we'll be just that's not even another that, one. That's not even enough. that long away, really. Yeah. Just whenever we settle. So I hope you've taken something away from this video. I don't know if it was even interesting for you to listen to our story, but I guess if you clicked, it was. I'm sure the people and, that uh, watch our collabs, it's good for you to kind of know what's going on. What's and probably. Up, yeah. Because we feel like we owe that for you. Yeah, because I didn't know how we were going to do it, but it just came natural today. Like, we already tried to message friends to meet up, and it just didn't work out. And I was like, maybe we're just meant to go home. Because it was last minute. We just texted them like, hey, 
and then everyone is in birthday parties. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh, sorry, <laughs> that's bad. Yeah, so maybe it's just meant to, this was meant to be this way, and that's it. I, I'm blabbering okay, guys, on. So until next time. Okay, bye, 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 everybody. <laughs> Hi, Joey. <laughs> oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>